to the strong man all your demons that are with you. I take authority over you in all of your demoniacs and I command you to go from her home right now. 
Father, I ask you right now, send warring angels to her home right now. Yes. Send warring angels armed with spiritual weapons to kill and destroy. Seek and kill and destroy every demoniac in the house. Wherever they're hiding, seek them out. Take no prisoners. Let every one of them be totally destroyed in the name of Jesus. The war is, way, it, mm, is raging at our house right now. Uh, she's here getting this deliverance. There's a battle here and there's a battle there. In the name of Jesus. Tell me what scripture it is. Turn and tell me what's the next scripture. Just tell me where it is. Matthew 9.35. Okay, my, Matthew 9.35. Mm -hmm. And Jesus. Is Jesus went about all the yes, yes. all the cities and the villages? Yes. Mm -hmm. Teaching in their synagogue mm -hmm. and preaching the gospel of the kingdom mm -hmm. and healing every sickness mm -hmm. and every disease. Yes, sir. Every sickness yes, sir. and every disease among the people. Yes, sir. Every disease, you lying devil, you everyone. Every, ooh, <laughs> say every, every, every demon got to lose you. Every demon got to come out. Every demon got to go. Every demon got to die. Every demon is destroyed. Go, go. Every demon got to go in the name of Jesus. Turn to the next one. Uh, Matthew 10, 7. I said that one already. As you go, preach. Okay. Heal the sick. Please let me know. Okay. Matthew 11, 3. 11, 3? Mm-hmm. If you look above, I got 11, 2 also, don't I? Oh, yes, sir. Now when John had heard in prison the thing which Christ did, now in 3, first he sent, he sent two disciples. Yes, sir. 3 says, and said unto him, are thou he that should come, or do we look for another? And Jesus said unto them, The blind received their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up. And the poor have the gospel preached unto them. And blessed is he whosoever is not offended. In the name of Jesus. I release that word all over you right now. Oh, there it is. I heard you, Lord. Lord. F R E E. Give God praise up in here. command them to go to the place yes, sir. that Jesus Christ set aside for them to go. Sealed by the power of the Holy Ghost and with fire. Yes. They can no longer come back. In Jesus' name. Now as Jesus now the battle is over at the house sending in the second part of the angels sending the comforting angels down. The military angels just left. Mission accomplished. Now they can send in the comforting angels, the messengers of God, who will encamp themselves all over the house, all around the house, and speak to her in dreams and visions. Yes. And bring messages from the Almighty. Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. And love and show loving kindness and the mercies of God upon her. Thank you, Jesus. I heard something while I was on the floor. I was going to, I was going to tell y'all say it, I'm going to y'all say it right now. Say, Sister Renee. Sister we'll preach the gospel preach of Jesus word. Christ. Yes. We'll preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, God. and she will lay hands upon the sick. And they shall recover. And they shall recover. She shall cast out demons and devils. She shall cast out demons and devils. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Cleanse the lepers. Cleanse the and she'll raise the dead. And she'll raise the dead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. In, Thank Jesus you, Jesus. Name. In Jesus' name. Somebody will praise right there. Oh, what kind of medication you want? Prozac? Uh, what? 100 milligrams of anti-tripoline, sleeping pill. Sleeping pill? 100 milligrams of Seroquel. 
Hold on, stop right there. Slimmy Bill. You tell me this church don't hear from God. You tell me what we're teaching up in here ain't real. You can't sleep without those pills. We're the best kept secret in America. If, if people out there knew what y'all was getting in here, y'all wouldn't be able to get a seat in this little place. Unless you came here four or five early, and Mike couldn't get one then. Do you know how many people out there in churches all over America need what y'all getting up in here? Amen. A lot of churches just never recognize the power of God. We let God be God. We fight up in here. We war to get you free. I want you to live healthy, mind, body, soul. I don't want you to be depressed. I don't want you to be pharmaceutical, be fearful. I don't want you to be in anxiety, despair, hopelessness. All that is unclean spirits trespassing against you. You're in a church, church full of cancer. Premature deaths in every church around America except this one. Except this one. Get a call from a big mega church in D.C. calling me to come over there because everybody dying in there. A funeral every month. You kidding me? And depression running rapid in every church in America. People come in and shout. People come in in tongues and dance and go back home just depressed they want to be. Not up in here. So you deal with depression, sleep business. Okay. And another thing that's going on. My temper span is off the chain, but I've been what able, you mean? I've been able to curb it and not react to how they And they gave me things that you... Oh, you been dealing with anger? Yeah, they said, you, they, they, said uh, they said, you ain't retaliated. I said, no. And they said, why? And they just looked at the lady and just said, Jesus. Oh, they, didn't, they didn't understand why. Because if I retaliated, which I could have, I'd have been going to jail for life. Because there's so much marble around there, I want to see the medicine Junior Olympus for box. And you don't want to knock somebody out in that home and go to jail for life. Yeah, you have too many other brothers in jail for life now. And I don't want to be the fourth. Oh, don't go nowhere. I don't want to go nowhere yet. So I put a Bible on the back of his head for me. Lay Matthew 10 on the back of his head for me. We got to get those sleeping pills out of him so he's sleeping and get the depression out of his head. We're going to send the word down like a heat sinking missile to go into your brain and your cerebellum, your cerebrum, frontal and back low. I pressed my bins, the E320. I'm going to tell you like I tell them up in here. Ain't no sense driving the bins when you got demons riding with you. Ain't man. I want a pickup car now. Yeah, say so. A suburban. Metallic blue. He wants some silver out of favor after he get healed and delivered. He wants to get silver out of favor. Glory's carpet clean in my business. Hallelujah. God bless his soul. I name my business after my big brother. God bless his soul. He's no longer here, but he's here with me. I'm going to make it happen through God's grace and mercy. Amen. Tell me what's happening. Uh -huh. Thank you. 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 you. come from, man? Brother you. come from? Brother you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. God gives a divine revelation. You gotta work it every day. It'll change your whole life, man. It'll turn everything around. You and all your boys. And your daughter. <laughs> Van D, remind you of something? Thank God for the good ones.
going through when you're down on the floor? What was happening with you? I was feeling releases. Thank you, God. You were feeling some releases? Yeah. Felt like some things were leaving? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. When Jesus put his finger in your brain, and you were moaning. What was going on then? Do you remember that part? No. <laughs> no, you can't remember everything because you're in the supernatural. Okay. I remember. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you, Lord. You are free. Thank you. 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 Give me a hand, sir. So y'all been here for the first time. See this word? It's alive, isn't it? Yeah. He said my word is spirit, didn't he? He said it's my it's the spirit that quickened it, right? And the word that I speak to you is what? Spirit and what? Life. These words are living words in the Bible. They can literally jump off the pages and perform anything he wanted to perform. He said, I will command my word to come upon you and overtake you. That's why people calling me and texting me and asking me, why you got the Bible on those people? Man, they see us on YouTube with all those miracles. Why are they throwing the word around? They've never been taught. They don't know. This is the supernatural. People have to be taught. So, these hands sit on one word, Renee. They sit on Acts the 19th chapter. Verse 11, 12, 24 hours a day. And this is what it says. I take it out. Thousands of these have gone out all over the world. All over the world. Huge testimonies, y'all. And this is what it says. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul so that from his body was brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons. And the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out from them. Don't ever watch this. Don't ever watch it. Keep this until Jesus Christ release you from it. Let me have your wrist. Keep it until Jesus Christ release you from it, okay? Some people tie it around the ankles, around the wrist, around the neck, carry it in the pocketbook, put it underneath their mattress, put it inside the pillowcase, sleep on it, whatever. Children carry it in their book bags, and it works. It works big time. One of my favorites is a woman, full-blown cancer. Don't want the surgery, but got to have the surgery. And got to have it in a few days. She didn't want it. She said, doctor, can just wait a few more days. You know why? She was waiting for one of these that was mailed to her to come through the mail. She said, when she opened up the envelope, a yellow vanilla envelope, and she took that donut and handed it from Acts 19, 11, 12, when she took it out, boom, the cancer left when she felt it. She got to the doctor, no surgery, but the cancer gone. Y'all, we serve a what? A good God. He has a power in his hand. We serve a healer. There's a healer. In the house. And his name? Jesus. Keep that. You're free, and you're going to preach. I declare that you are blessed when you lay down. Blessed when you rise up. Blessed when you come in. Blessed when you go out. You're blessed in the city, and you're blessed in the field. You're blessed in the highway, and you're blessed in the byway. I feel the glory. Take that glory. Bring him around right here. Face me, Anthony. Get, put that fan down. Hold your hands up to Christ. Father, I release that word to go into his brain. He himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. Mmm. Mm. Mm. 